Hello friends, you are welcome to today's storytelling session <laughs> and I am so happy to see you again today. You are welcome. My name is Osazua Ehibo. Special thanks to Asitej South Africa for making this storytelling session possible. Again, we shall journey to the land of the Benins. <laughs> yes. And we shall go to a small village where a drummer lived. This drummer was so skillful in the art of drumming. He drummed that even spirits danced. When he drummed, humans danced. Spirits danced. Everyone danced. He became so famous. The king was so pleased with him because he performed at ceremonies and festivals. The king showered him with presents, gifts, because he was so skillful. The king gave him the title, Ibe Maba. So this man was now known as Ibe Maba. Ibe Maba was so good with the drums, so wonderful that when he drummed, <laughs> Ikbe Maba was the only drummer in the, in the land. No, nobody could drum like the Ikbe Maba. He was the best. Whenever there was a festival, the festival will not begin except the Ikbe Maba drummed. It was the Ikbe Maba who must drum to declare the festival open. Whenever the village prepared for war, they would consult the gods. And it is the Ikbe Maba who must drum before the gods are consulted. And then they can now go to war. The king was so pleased. So pleased and so happy with the Ikbe Maba because he performed his duty wonderfully in the village. The king showered him with gifts. Ikbe Maba got all he wanted. Lands. Even the daughter of the king. The king gave her out in marriage to Ikbe Maba as one of his wives. That was how lucky Ikbe Maba was. Because he knew what he was. He knew how to drum. good with drum and the king rewarded him handsomely but then there was this particular title that the Ikbe Maba wanted and that was the title of Aigwabahi he needed this title so much that when he approached the king who happened to be his in-law the king refused to grant him that request of giving him the title. Ikbe Maba begged. Ikbe Maba appealed. He begged that the king should give him the title of Aigobahi. The king said, no, you can't have that title of Aigobahi. And Ikbe Maba was sad. So sad. He came home that afternoon and he was sad. So when his wife asked him, what is the problem? Why are you sad? Ikbe Maba told her, there is this particular title I want the king to give me. I want him to make me the Aigwabahi of this village. But the king refused. 
I don't know what to do. The wife laughed and laughed and laughed. And the wife replied, <laughs> You see, my husband, it is because you are still drumming for the king. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. Because you keep drumming for the king, then he will refuse you the title. See, stop drumming for him. Don't drum for him again. Don't drum for the land anymore. Once the king discovers you have stopped drumming, and he cannot do without you. You know he cannot. You know the king cannot do without you. So when you stop drumming, the king will have no choice than to grant you your request by giving you the title of I go by. And Ikbemaba thought about it. He said, that is true. Ikbemaba listened and took the advice that the wife gave. Is it a good advice? Is it a very good advice? That he should stop drumming for the king? Okay, we will know if it's actually a good advice. Ikbe Maba stopped drumming because he listened to his wife. At that period, that time, there was this festival, this very important festival that the village was preparing for. This festival was so important that the Ikbe Maba needed to drum. On the day the festival was to begin, everybody was in the king's palace. Everyone. The chiefs, the king, everybody in the village was in the palace. But Ikbemaba was not there. He didn't go to the palace. And the king asked, where is Ikbemaba? And everybody said, we don't know. We have not seen him. And so he sent, the king sent his guards to go to Ikbemaba's house and get him, bring him to the palace. When the guards got to the house of Ikbemaba, they met Ikbemaba outside and they told him, Ikbemaba, the king wants to see you. Today is supposed to be the beginning of the festival and you are not in the palace. Why? And Ikbe Maba said, Go and meet your king. I am no longer drumming for this village. I will not drum for the king anymore. And he took a machete and pursued and chased the guards away with a machete. He said, Go and tell your king. Until he grants my request, I will not drum. And then the king, the guards, they went to the palace and told the king everything that happened. The guards went to the palace and said, Your Majesty, we went to the Baba's house and he chased us using the cutlass, the merchant. He said he would no longer drum until, until until you grant his request. And the king was so angry that he called off the festival. The festival did not hold that day. This happened the first day, the second day, the third day. There was no festival because Ikbe Maba must drum before the festival will begin. Nobody drums like the Ikbe Maba. Only he knew how to drum. And he drummed so well. So without him, without the Ikbe Maba, the festival will not hold. So, the king called off the festival. And everybody went away angry. Third day, the pressure was mounting, the pressure was so serious on the king. The fourth day, he decided to grant the request of the Bemaba. One afternoon, he summoned the Ikbemaba. And the Ikbemaba came to the palace. 
and he asked the Ikwemaba, why do you choose to do this to me? And why do you choose this day when the festival is to begin, when you know that you are very important and that the festival cannot hold without you? And the Ikwemaba said, your majesty, I have been begging for this title. Please grant me my request and I will start drumming again. And the king asked him, So you will not drum unless you have the title of the Igwobai? And the Ikwemaba said, Yes, your majesty. I want the title of Igwobai. Give it to me and I will be happy again. The king said, Fine, you will have the title of Aigobahi by sunset tomorrow. And Ikbemaba was very happy because tomorrow at sunset, <laughs> he will become the Aigobahi. <laughs> he was very happy. He thanked the king and he left. He went home happily. He was rejoicing because at last, he would get the title of Aigwobahi. <laughs> Shortly after Ikbemaba left the palace, suddenly we had drumbeats. heard this drum he was surprised who could drum like this of course only the Ikbemaba can do this and he summoned the guards and I told the guards who is that drummer go and find out and the guards told him my lord I would have said it is the Ikbemaba but Ikbemaba just left the palace now, so he, it cannot be him. And the king said, who is this drummer? And the drum became louder. came to the palace of the king and the king asked are you the drummer are you the one who was drumming that I heard just now and the drummer said yes your majesty I am the drummer and the king was surprised because he has not seen anybody like this young man in this village and the king asked him, young man, what is your name? And the man said, my name is Osa Simioba. Do you know what that means? It means God save the king. That's the name of the man. And the king was pleased. And he said, young man, keep drumming. had another drummer and a better drummer wow god actually saved the king it was the next day ikbemaba was happy ikbemaba was so happy at sunset he will become the aigobai and suddenly the ikbemaba was hearing drum beats Ikbemaba was surprised. Who is that drumming like this? I am the only drummer in this village who could drum that beautifully. 
And the wife said, no, you are the only drummer. Nobody drums like the Ikme Maba. And the Maba said, no. That drummer is drumming my banishment. My wife, do you know what that means? It means I will no longer be in this village. I will be banished because whoever drums that beautifully has just taken what belongs to me. And Ikme Maba was sad, very sad. Sunset came. Ikme Maba was not given the title of Aigobai because the village has found another trauma. And quickly the king summoned everybody in the village to come to the palace that the festival must begin immediately because there is a drama. Everybody came to the palace. Everybody in the village because the festival was to begin immediately. Even Ikbe Maba was in the palace too. But this time he was now in chains. His hands were tied to his back. My mother started singing. The king addressed Ikbe Maba. Ikbe Maba. You have decided to choose this part. It's your choice. This should be a warning to everybody. Never you feel you are indispensable. Be careful. Else, your case become that of Ikbe Maba. This festival is starting today because Ikbe Maba refused to play his role. Ikbe Maba held us to ransom, and so he pays the price. Now, my judgment. I hereby banish you from this village. You cease to be the Ikbe Maba. This young man is our new Ikbe Maba. He came from another village. His name is Osa Simioba. God save the king. And everybody was happy. They clapped, they shouted, they cheered. And so the king ordered the guards to take him away. As the guards were taking him out of the palace. Oh, go do my myoko yagwa. Eta o go do yeme. Oh, go do my myoko yagwa. Eta o go do ye. He say, Ubu iba igina ye. Ibu pon o go oba me be yo wo egita o. Oh, go do. Oh, go do my myoko yagwa o. Eta o go do. The gods took him away. My friends, don't be like the Ikbe Maba. It is not good. My friends, that is the end of my story. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll meet again some other time.